Kia ora te whanau. I am just jumping on here with our um, belief changer update from our Ako session on Sunday. Um, this week we had Rachel Petero jump on with us and share a bit about her journey. So Rachel is an indigenous Māori wahine from Waikato um, and she is the founder of Rise 2025 um, which is transforming indigenous lives. Um, she, her business is um, a coaching business that is Kaipapa Māori based and pushes to decolonise for our indigenous whānau. Um, she has multiple global programs and is supporting indigenous people and cultures um, to create positive paths for our younger generation. Um, so that is her goal. So yeah, that was um, her kaupapa, I've probably only just scratched the surface of it, um, but that is Rise 2025. She spoke a lot about um, entrepreneurship and she really believes in e-commerce. Um, she One thing she said was, distraction is the death of an entrepreneur. Um, and it, yeah, I mean, um, I often get distraction distracted um, and procrastinate a lot and it has only been since I've been on this kahau kaupapa that I've been able to set proper goals, well mini goals, where I'm able to make plans and get this done by this time and really kind of use my time wisely, um, which has been an awesome learning curve for me. Um, another thing she also said, which I actually really enjoyed, was to always make sure that you always invest in as much of yourself as you do your business and this one was this one was really cool because it just goes back to saying um you know make making sure your own cup is full before you pour into someone else's um and over the last few months actually just before i started this um kahal kaupapa i um had really tried to focus on that focus on looking after myself and my well-being before looking after others um it is still a journey in itself but hearing that kind of just reassured me that i'm doing what i'm doing is okay by me and what i'm doing is right so yeah she had some amazing corridor um and she also talked about the question that us as entrepreneurs ask ourselves is and we say that we're not worthy or good enough um then something happens to reinstate that that us as entrepreneurs um often tell ourselves or get into a mindset where we tell ourselves that we're not good enough to be on this journey or on this kaupapa of small business um, and entrepreneurship. Um, and then something happens that lets us down and reinstates the facts that we think we're not good enough, um, dims our confidence, and then we have this fixed mindset and continue to find things um, that prove that we're not good enough. Um, and it becomes this emotional loop. Um, and I guess that's when we need to get into that that mindset and really tap into the growth mindset and ask ourselves, is this behaviour serving me and my purpose? Um, why am I thinking like this? But what have I done so far to get to where I am now? And looking at all the positives over the negatives, and that's that growth mindset. Um, and then really pushing to ask for help is a big thing, and I still struggle there. Um, was just a bit of my takeaways from her corridor on Sunday, and that is Rachel Petero. She is amazing um, and probably my favourite belief changer so far. Um, I was really, really interested, and I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it was because she's Māori or I don't know, but I felt like I really resonated with her corridor and what she had to say, and I really think that the mahi that she's doing is awesome. Um, but yeah, head over to Rise 2025 and check her out. I will take her as well. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated. Yamahi.